So we have love and growth. Okay. Love bomber. Revenge body. And we have gossip. All right. Broken promises on the back of the deck. Where does this person, where does their, their, okay. Where do they stand? What is their current energy time? We're about dating, forever change. What does this have to do with, okay. There have been some type, you guys have set some type of boundaries. Yeah, didn't I say you were dealing with a runner? Or somebody that was running from you, avoiding the connection? Yeah, you guys have probably um, stopped enabling this person. Or you have set some type of boundaries with them. Because you feel like this dynamic between the two of you was toxic. Um, you felt like this person was using you. All right. Um, how We have dating and forever change. So what does this have to do with the collective? What does this have to do with my collective that's watching this video? Dating and forever changed. What is dating and forever changed? Sex. Oof. Okay. Options. You guys could maybe be, what does that have to do with this person? They're hiding their true feelings and emotions. How are they feeling about the collective at this time? They feel like they're running out of time. Maybe this person feels like, um, maybe you were dealing with somebody where like, maybe you did it in the past, try to put your foot down with them. You told them that you weren't going to be dealing, you know, you weren't going to put up with certain things. And then maybe you would let this person back in or something like that. You guys have grown. You guys are growing and you're evolving and you're changing. You're focusing on yourself. You're looking good without them. Um, I feel like maybe you guys are trying to really get over this person this time and date other people. You, there's like some type of change that has happened in the situation and you're being serious about it. You're implementing it. You're not just telling them. You're actually implementing it. And I feel like it has something to do with boundaries. What is, why is sex here? We have closed heart. What does that do with the collective? You guys could be in this energy where you're not wanting to have intimate connections or relations with people. And so like you're, you're being more guarded here. Yeah, you're being more guarded here. It's like you, you want to build an actual, you know, you want to be a power couple with someone. You want to build a relationship with somebody. You want something stable and, you know, healthy. And maybe you guys are trying to, yeah, you're trying to do things differently. That's what I'm getting from this. It's like you guys are trying not to do what you, you know, make the same mistakes again. This person's like not expressing anything to you. They're not telling you how they feel at this time. But they're really feeling kind of like this urgency. Who did I just do a reading like this for? Taurus? They feel this urgency. They feel like they took too long to do something or they just feel like they have to hurry up and do something now. Why is that? Why are they feeling this urgency? Yeah, twin flame. Well, we know we are doing a twin flame reading. What are they? Why do they feel like they have to hurry up now? What about karmic connection? Single. What is something with the collective? Hmm. Somebody could maybe, there is like a twin flame connection here, but there's maybe also a karmic connection in the mix. Some type of karmic cycle that still needs to get closed out. Maybe someone's feeling like they have to hurry up and resolve something from the past now. Something something from the past that was never resolved. They're feeling like they need to hurry up and do that because that's keeping them stuck in some type of way. It's like, in this person's eyes, what does vacation have to do with anything? Why is vacation here? What's this have to do with um, the collective? What does it have to do with this person? Passion and toxic. If what's this have to do with the collective? Broken promises and first true love. Mutual feelings. What is going on here? Let's get some other cards out because this is 
right, Spirit, give me more clarity on what is going on between these two people. What is the current situation? As of right now, this is quite different from the reading that I did last week. What is going on here? You guys are dealing with an emotionally manipulative person. They want your attention. But you guys are like almost outgrowing this person. Like they're not on the same level as you. At least not right now. There's gossip here. So there's there's rumors or they're hearing something about you, seeing something about you. All right. What's going on between these two? On a pedestal? Yeah. Okay. So somebody puts you on a pedestal. And maybe they don't feel good enough for you. Tell me more. Power couple. There's that power couple energy again. This is the kind of relationship that you want. It says two people who are equals and fiercely independent from one another are encouraging goodness in the world. It's like you want somebody that's on the same level as you. I feel like this person's well aware that maybe you're like more, you know, in a, on a, in a better position than they are. And they're having a hard time catching up to you. Prize possession. Yeah. It's like this person wants to possess you right now. They want to hold on to you on the rebound. So somebody is possibly rebounding. Someone is on the rebound. This could be a confusing ride. Take things slow. Yeah, I was getting that. This person could be like, oof. Rocky starts can lead to happy endings. You'll, you'll have to decide if it's worth the fight. The choice will be yours. So this is like a fairly new connection. And you and this person have not had the best relationship, you know, from the get-go. All right. What, what does on the rebound mean for this person that they're the collective person? Sacred bond. You will have a spiritual connection with that will allow you to see yourself through the person you love. So you're showing this person a lot of things about themselves. Yeah, we have love triangle. Getting caught in a love triangle causes heartache. So if there is a karmic or a third party, it's on their end. You're wait, you've been waiting for this person to choose you or to, you know, wrap up another situation so that they can prioritize this. What's on the rebound mean for the collective? Wish come true, okay? And one-way love. So what does that have to do with on the rebound? Some of you guys, what's the difference? Fast lane. I, don't, I just feel like this person is going to want to come in. And try to move things along very fast with you. Let's see, what is that about? Transformative. Something's changing. So not only are you growing and changing, so is this person. Yeah, this person definitely has a karmic. They're, they're either married or they have somebody else that they're still attached to. So what I'm getting from this is that you guys could have been rebounding when you met this person. Like you could have had just gotten out of a relationship with somebody else and you kind of like weren't, maybe take it how it resonates. It could be you or this person. Some of you guys met this person through work or something. What is office affair? Mixed signals. A lover is unsure of what they want, sending you mixed signals, causing great confusion. Maybe it's best to move on. Somebody could have met somebody on the rebound and then they realized that like, they actually did have true feelings for this person. And um, like this is maybe how you met this person. You guys can admit that you were on the rebound or you had just gotten out of another relationship. You're like, oh, wait, I actually do really like this person. They have a lot of qualities that I really like. But then you realize that it was unrequited or something like that. You you were very sure about what you wanted with this person. Maybe very early on, they were more apprehensive. They were they weren't sure what they wanted. Hmm. So why do we have this? Why is this person coming in to love bomb you? What is this card in here? Oh. So We have love bomber. What's love bomber mean for this person? Finality. So what does this have to do with the collective? Broken promises. Mental prison. What about divorce? 
foolish. What does that mean? Inner knowing that what? It's like this person's not going to be able to give you a conventional relationship. It's like this person, well, this person, they have something going on. They're going through a divorce or they're ending another relationship. And, but it's like this person also feels like possessive over you. They don't want to lose you. They know that they're not ready. They know they have some things that they need to sort out or get situated. And I feel like this person, when they feel like you're about to really let them go or that there's about to be a permanent ending, um, they come in and they promise you a lot, but they never follow through with it. And it's like, yeah, you're heavy on this person's mind. I feel like this person's in this mental prison over this other situation. It's like they can't take you seriously until they get something else sorted out. But they love bomb you because I feel like they feel like, why do they, tell me more about why this person does this. Why do they do this to the collective? They, maybe it's because they start like, yeah, tell me more about it. I know, what's the shocking event? What about, oh, something could be going on with their children. An apology. What does children have to do with anything? A risk. What's going to do with the collective? You guys are ready to free yourself from this. You don't. You don't want to be in this mess with this person anymore. You want to start something new for yourself. Either this person comes back towards you because the, their mind gets the best of them. Like this person starts making up scenarios about what you could possibly be doing with other people or, and stuff like that, and that kind of like triggers them to come toward you. Also. This is going to sound weird, but in this person's eyes, they are taking this seriously. Like, they may not be showing you, but, like, that's where the disconnect is. This person thinks they do take you seriously or that they are showing you. They, in their eyes, they're, they think they feel that like they've shown you that they do take you seriously. Like, they're not seeing how, they're, how their actions towards you have caused a distrust. I do see them coming in with an apology. They could have something maybe going on with their children. Especially if it's like a divorce or something like that. Hmm. Give me more clarity on what's happening here. What's the gossip? Okay, so we have money is tight. What is gossip? What does that have to do with the collective? You guys are not on the same page. Tell me more about it. Or you feel like you and this person are not on the same page or maybe just too different? Yeah, it's like this is not what you want. Like whatever it is that they want to provide or the, they want to have this unconventional relationship with you or something. And you're like, no, that's not what I want right now. Like they're going through money issues. What's going on with this person? They're ridiculous. <laughs> Mirroring. You're starting to show them some things about themselves for sure. They need to let go of an ex. Tell me more. Yeah, they're still holding on to the past. Yeah, and it's like one-sided love, not enough attraction. The feelings are not mutual. What does this have to do with the collective? Maybe there's another situation where like it's one-sided or something from their past where they don't want to be in that situation anymore. But they, if it's like a divorce or something like that, it's like, time, you know, in time, it's, it's going to happen in a certain time. They still heavily feel you. They want to come in and see if you've moved on or what's going on. They want to see what's up here. They're definitely, there's somebody's depressed over this situation. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, guys. This is a strange reading. But all I keep seeing from this is that this person wants to keep having this. In their eyes, they are putting in effort and work into this. They are taking you seriously. Or like in their head, they may be like serious about you and, you know, want this with you, but they're not showing it to you. That's what I'm getting from this. They're, they're in that poker face energy where they, they're very unexpressive with their emotions and their feelings. Um, they don't let you know what's going on with them. So it's like, I feel like if maybe there was better communication, first of all, this person does need to get some things situated in their life that has nothing to do with you. They need to get that taken care of before they try to cultivate anything with you. But what I'm trying to say is that like, I feel like if this person communicated with you better, it's not here, but I just feel it. It's like this person doesn't know how to communicate. In their eyes, they feel like they are taking this seriously and they are doing what they need to do to make this work. They may be, but 
they're not showing you because how does the collective feel about this person what is the collective's view on this person you feel you feel like you've been through a lot with this person they put you through a lot hold on a second you feel like this person has money problems so you're aware that this person has financial issues yeah you feel like this is maybe someone you need to disconnect from or withdraw from at this time or you just yeah you have an inner knowing that what you know that this person's jealous or that they they have they're still attached to you that they want they don't want anybody else to have you that they have a fear of losing you what does that have to do with anything what does that have to do with anything home it's like you know that this person's gonna come back like or something like that you know that they'll always come back to you yeah yeah they feel regret remorseful wanting to undo the damage what is this risk I feel like you guys feel like if this person's going to come, that you guys will only be able to have a successful relationship or be happy together if this person starts being more open and honest with you. Or they're going to have to take some type of leap of faith to be like, or you're going to, you're telling, you're, you feel like if, if this is going to come back together, you, this person needs to come towards you with an apology. But it's something about, there's a third, what is up with this third party? There's something, love offer, what about the third party love offer? Bad intentions. What does this have to do with the collective? What about the karmic? They're still grieving that breakup or something? Or they feel like they haven't moved on from it yet? They need to still heal from a past relationship? What does love offer have to do with the collective? going in circles this person keeps running from this and then stringing you along running from it and then stringing you along they're watching you for sure they're watching you they do want to make something right with you they might want to get more clarity before they pursue you or come toward you i don't know this is weird guys what is this person's intentions with the collective What is this person's intentions with the collective? See, they want to maintain control over you. Yeah, they have a big ego. They want to have the power and the control. Why? Justice. The high priestess. So we have Aries energy. We have justice, Libra energy. And we have the high priestess, Pisces energy. Hmm. Tell me more. The ace of wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're going to reject this. What is justice waiting? They're waiting on some type of court. They want to maintain control over you until they get something else sorted out. I see it. But they don't understand that you're not, you're outgrowing this type of crap. This unconventional toxic connection. It's like they feel like once they get a third party situation sorted out, they want to be able to offer you some more. But it's like this person does not know how to communicate. They don't know how to like, they keep you out of the loop. And like that kept like, I don't know. It's weird guys. It becomes very dysfunctional when this person does not know how to communicate with you, like their intentions or what they've got going on, because that makes you feel like they're playing you or that they're keeping secrets. Like it causes a lot of dysfunctionality between the two of you. And I don't think that they see that. It's like, there's something that they're not able to see that they don't see that how like the, the way that they are, they're secretive. They don't communicate well. They don't fill you in about what's going on in their situation or in their life. Um, they kind of leave you on the cold a lot. And I feel like, like they have the intent to do right by you, but they know they can't right now. They can't give you everything that it is that you desire out of a significant other at the moment, but they want to be able to give it to you one day. So they're, they're trying to keep you controlled. What's the high priestess? The five of cups. What's this mean for the collective? Yeah, I feel like you guys are seeing something very clearly right now. Um, I feel like you guys know that like you're starting to listen to your intuition more. Maybe your intuition was screaming at you about this person and you didn't listen before. Or it's like 
you have an inner knowing that if you go back into this with this person, whatever they're about to do, because let's see, what action is this person about to take towards um, the collective? What actions are they taking? It's a control. It's some type of control tactic. Yeah, they're coming in to offer you something, but just know that there will still be a third party interference. They're coming in to say that they want something more solid with you, but it's not. They're not being honest with you. This is manipulation. This offer that's coming in of stability or whatever this is, is manipulation. It's an abuse of power. It's to keep you controlled. They want to keep you waiting. They want to keep you in limbo. All right. Um, you guys know that with this person's current circumstances and the way that they are, the way that they're coming towards you, because how are they approaching? When they come in, how are they coming toward you? Or it's just your intuition is telling you not to trust this person. You know? Your intuition is telling you not to trust this person. You guys know, you feel within yourselves that you can't trust this or that this will lead to some type of loss or sadness. Like you won't be happy with whatever it is that they're offering you. Like you guys know this now. Maybe you guys knew this before, but you didn't want to come to terms with it. Yeah, like we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Whatever this person's coming in with is about to get rejected. It's the way that they're coming towards you. And um, yeah, I see a, a rejection. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's just this person's just not on the same level as you. And you're not going to lower your standards for them anymore. That's what I'm getting for this. Like, You guys are being more practical now. Thinking about the whole picture. Not just about the fact that you have love and emotion for this person. You're like... Or can, or, you know, you're thinking about their situation. You're thinking about their level of maturity, their emotional maturity, the way that they communicate, the fact that they, they're still married or whatever they've got going on, the way that they live their life. You're thinking about all those things now. And you're like, yeah, no, me and this person are just not in alignment. I love them. I still have love for them. But the way that they are, we're just not at the same. Yeah, you're, they're not they're not at the same level as you. So you're at this point where you're like, you know, either you're going to have to you know, get it together and meet me at my level or you're, we're not going to be together. You know what I mean? Like you're standing your ground and you're setting boundaries. Yeah. You're being more protective of your energy. You're doing something different. Something is changing here. And I feel like this person, yeah, because we had that. It's like, you're finally, you, you really had a wake, wake up call or a realization about this person. And it's like, you want better for yourself. So if you know that if you want better, you got to stop doing the same thing. You know what I mean? That you were doing before. So yeah, I do see them trying to them wanting to make amends with you, having a lot of regrets, um, having a new perspective. But it's gonna maybe take some time because whatever it is, like there's something that they need to walk away from their comfort zone, a family situation, a marriage. I don't know what it is, but there's something that they need to be able to walk away from that's causing them a lot of instability. It could be just their own like you know toxicity, toxic habits, all of those types of things. So.